All right, guys, today we have some breaking news regarding PlayStation. Sony has officially acquired Firewalk Studios. If we head over to the PlayStation blog, we have a write-up from head of Sony's first-party studios, Herman Holst. He says, I'm excited to announce that we've expanded our relationship with Firewalk Studios and are thrilled to welcome them to PlayStation Studios. Firewalk is home to a remarkably talented team of creatives who have launched some of gaming's most celebrated experiences, and they're already hard at work on their first original AAA multiplayer game for PlayStation. Since announcing our publishing partnership with Probably Monsters and Firewalk in 2021, we continue to be impressed by the team's ambitions to build a modern multiplayer game that connects players in new and innovative ways. The studio shares our passion for creating inspiring worlds grounded in exceptional gameplay, and we want to continue to invest in their mission. We're excited for Firewalk to bring their technical and creative expertise to PlayStation Studios to help grow our live service operations and deliver something truly special for gamers. So yeah, some of you may have forgotten, but back in 2021, Sony did announce a publishing partnership with Firewalk and Back then, they were already talking about how impressed they were with their game. And it's worth noting that this game, this multiplayer game that's in development at Firewalk, has been in development since 2018. It's a new AAA IP. Now, here's what's interesting to me. They do not say whether or not this is going to be a first-person shooter. However, I'm thinking that's exactly what it's going to be. The development team are Bungie veterans, Call of Duty veterans, Halo veterans, obviously, Destiny veterans, Apex Legends developers, and uh, just a lot of veteran FPS talent. And so they don't explicitly confirm whether or not it's going to be an FPS, but I think it's kind of a big deal if it does end up being an FPS because, you know, we've seen this situation ongoing with Microsoft acquiring Activision Blizzard and the conversation surrounding Call of Duty. So the idea of Sony coming out announcing that they've acquired a new studio here that's working on a big AAA first-person shooter that Sony seems to have a lot of faith in. Sony seems to be very impressed by what they're seeing here. Uh, this could very well be you know, Sony's way of kind of showing us that, yeah, we're going to be doing our own things as well. I don't think anybody necessarily had any doubt there. It's worth noting they don't confirm whether it's an FPS, but I have a hunch that's exactly what it's going to be. It's very exciting. It's worth noting that this development team already has over 150 devs working on this game and as i said it's been in development for some time so we could very well end up seeing this shown off for the first time at an upcoming playstation showcase if that's what sony's planning on doing one last thing i want to add here is that it's nice to see sony kind of coming out and making some announcements again right i feel like sony has went an extended period of time not necessarily being completely silent, but certainly not doing anything that big. This might be the beginning of Sony kind of showing that they're getting ready to start making more moves, making more announcements, and getting the community uh, excited again. So I hope that's what this is the beginning of. But I have to say, I'm very much interested in seeing this game. It's always interesting to me when we hear about new AAA IP knowing that Sony behind the scenes is so impressed with this game that they just decided to straight up acquire the studio. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what Firewalk is working on here. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Had to make sure to let you know what's going on here. Leave the video a like if you enjoyed it or found it informative. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell notification icon and feel free to share the video out on top of all that. But until next time, guys, take care.